Okay, so hello everyone who's joining us. Uh, my name is Alexis Bowen and um, I am so excited to be here with you today. So I um, own my, my Business Threads coaching and blog, okay? And I'm really excited you could join me for this class. Awesome. Okay, so what I do is I work with people who aspire to make the switch from um, employee to self-employed. And I do this by helping uh, them open their own small business or small home business, okay? Now, when you open a, a small business, the the surefire way to make sure it's a success is by having a business plan. And that's what I want to go over with you today. I know there's a ton of people at this time in the world who are doing their best and, and trying really hard to um, open their own business and, and make changes in their life and uh, really, really want you to be successful because there's nothing worse than opening a business and just having it go downhill really quickly. It's just really upsetting when that happens. and. Do whatever you can to avoid that scenario, okay? So today I wanna go over uh, business plan fundamentals with you, okay? So uh, business uh, plan fundamentals. So there's many parts to a business plan that you have to or you should have contained within your plan in order for your business to be successful on many different levels. So one of those is before you even launch your business for some people is getting funding you need a business plan to acquire funding some people for to open your business and pay for all those expenses that you need. Um, another uh, a reason you need a business plan is to know how to get people into your business. You know, how are you going to attract those customers and how are you going to get them to see that you're there and open and then want to come into your business or phone your business or if you're in the virtual world, you know, they contact you and book a a service or purchase a product. So that's really important to have as part of your plan. And that frankly, I think is a step that a lot of people overlook. They just open a business and expect people to come, which does happen to a certain extent. Um, however, um, how, when you open a business, they will come that theory, it does work, but in order for, you know, your business to be super successful, you have to have a plan and strategy in place to get those people in the door. Okay, so other uh, aspects, you know, of having a, a plan and why it's important is, you know, your knowing your numbers, and we'll get into that in a little bit. Knowing your numbers allows you to stay on target and meet your goals, allows you to tweak your plan further on, you know, as you're open for six months or a year or three years or five years. Okay, so you have to know your numbers. You know, and other things like, you know, you don't want to get shut down. <laughs> when I say that, I mean having the proper, you know, permits to run your business. Uh, some people don't do that. Like I had a home business or have a home business. And if I didn't ensure that I had the proper permits and that my house was owned correctly, I and somebody complained, let's say somebody had an issue with my, my business or the parking or, you know, they could complain to the town and my town would come and shut me down. Now, if you have things in place, you know, and you've gone through and done your due diligence, uh, you can avoid that and you just, you know, show the papers and, and you're good to go. And they tell the other person to go away. So, you know, so there's many reasons you can see how it just starts to add up, how um, important it is to have a plan in place and not just a plan, but to have a thorough plan that is specific and that has all the details that you require to make it through six, all the stages of your business and make it through those stages successfully without any huge hiccups. Little hiccups are okay in business and they happen quite often, but big hiccups are not good, they're not fun, and they're super, super stressful. I can promise you in the past, long time ago, I experienced some big hiccups and, and they're not fun. <laughs> so I'm um, definitely try to avoid that, okay? So if you're just jumping in with us now, let me know uh, where you're jumping in in the world, uh, where you're from in the world, okay? I'd love to uh, know where everybody is. Okay, so let's continue on now. Um, I would love to know who's already made their plan or who's in the process of making their plan or if you're just thinking about it. You know, please let me know in the chat. Um, I would uh, I would love to know, okay? So, okay, so now let's continue on. Uh, so essentially, you know, we've talked a little bit about 
the business plan and what's contained in it. So you can see that your business plan, it's pretty simple. It's, some, it's scary to some people, but it, it's pretty simple. And what a business plan is overall is just your guide to successfully launch and grow your business over time. Okay, that's all it really is. So um, now, let me just get my notes here. Let me just check the comments over here. So, so as you can see, a plan would tell you, you know, what you need to do if cer certain situations occur. And when those situations occur, you just go to your plan and you're like, oh yeah, that's, oh yeah, I, I have a policy and procedure in place for this. And you just implement that. And it's pretty, it's, it's that simple, but you have to think through all these things in advance. That's, that's the trick, it's thinking through it and taking the time. And it's tedious and it takes time and research, but it's well worth it. So I would love to know also, so who uh, watching needs help creating your plan? You know, some people find it confusing, confusing. It can be frustrating, overwhelming. And um, I would love to know who is, you know, having some issues with that. Okay, so um, while you do that, think about that, let me continue on with uh, the few things I wanna talk about to kinda help you get your plan started today if you haven't already done so, okay? I'm just gonna give you a few tips today just to get you going. So the first one is, you know, business plan basics, I call it, okay? So the first one is business structure. It's really important to have a proper structure in place for your business, you know, um, a legal structure, you know? So in my business, I'm sole proprietor, I'm only one person, and for now that's how I like it you know if I had a partner working with me I might be you know I might change it to um, I might change it to like a partnership or a, like an LLC even it, it just depends on a few different things one of them being you know how you want your taxes set up uh, what kind of tax breaks you'd like uh, who owns your business like I just said is it one person is it more than one is it a small business where you're only making like fifteen thirty thousand dollars you know it's a side business or you know maybe it's uh, like maybe you're making a hundred thousand dollars or maybe you're making a million dollars a year each each one of those requires a different structure um, as well as liability. So for example, sole proprietor, um, I would be, so if somebody tried to come and if they tried to sue me for whatever reason, um, th we have unlimited liability, which doesn't mean what you think it is. It really, it's just um, that the person who's trying to take you to court has unlimited access to, um, of your personal assets and your, 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 um, your business assets, right? But if you were an LLC, um, and I just explained this to someone recently, it, it is kind of confusing. If you're an LLC, there's a limited liability company, which, you know, it's limited liability and it, it's not limited for you, it's limited for the person taking you to court. So that means that, you know, that person uh, could only access your business assets and not your uh, personal assets. They couldn't go after your house, you know, or your personal investments and stuff like that. Okay. So, so those are just some uh, things about the structure, just like a sneak peek, just a little bit into it. So the next thing you'd really should go over, it's so crucial. I, I can't even, I can't even um, <laughs> tell you how crucial it is. I'm just gonna, I seem to have lost my, oh, there we are my uh, screen with all you guys so I can see what you're saying. <laughs> so just one second, let me just pop it up here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I wanna talk to you a little bit about the financial aspects of your business plan, which is like I said, really, really important. And for this part, you really just wanna make sure you're uh, uh, doing your projections. So calculating your projections uh, for your income and your expenses so that you know what should be coming into your business and going out of your business at regular intervals. Uh, creating budgets is so important. Um, budgets for you know products, like I'm an esthetician and a massage therapist and for my my business I've, I've had some colleagues who they own a business and they'll go and like way years ago in the past they'll go and order something like a box of goodies you know products for to so that they can you know do the services and perform the pedicures and the makeup and everything and then they'll go off and buy like an, an extra 200 dollars of you know just random stuff they wanted to try but they're not going to use it on clients and i always try not to do that because it's that's like <laughs> a surefire way to blow your budget really, really fat. Like it's just just like that. Your money is gone and you're like, why, why don't I have any money left? Well, 
you spent it all on makeup products you wanted to try out. So I, I try never ever to do that. So you have a budget in place for, you know, this is what I'm spending. I'm spending $200, you know, every two months or one month or three months for products for my business, whatever those products are, right? Um, but I'm not gonna buy anything else, that's it. <laughs> you're not gonna dip into it because you know, you're just losing money that way. So budgets are really important and they help you not to go over, um, blow your budgets, okay? They also help you know uh, if you're staying in line with your, your um, with your numbers, okay? And what I mean by that is, you know, you wanna know how much income you need to come into your business and, you know, if you're not hitting those income target numbers, you know you're not getting enough clients in, obviously, because clients are the ones that pay you the cash, right? So if you're not getting enough clients, then you just back it up a little bit. You know, you're not getting enough clients. Okay, well, I need to tweak my marketing plan or my advertising plan or, or, or adjust my budget. And maybe it's working, but I'm not spending enough money on it. So, you know, so you can... If you, if you have a plan for what numbers you wanna hit in your business, it's very easy to think, okay, I did not make as much money this month as I was supposed to, and then you can figure out, you know, well, what am I doing with my ad and marketing plan, and how can I improve it so that I, you know, you know, you know move go past the amount of money that I thought I was gonna bring in. So let's say you're gonna bring in, I wanna bring in $2,000 this month and you only hit 1,000. That's not good enough, right? So you tweak it, bring it up to 2,000 or more. Okay, so if you're understanding, let me know. Um, <laughs> if it's confusing, please feel free to ask me a question. I check the chat every so often, okay? Um, all right, so, oh, I lost my thing. There we go. Okay, so let's move on now to something else that's super, super important, your startup costs. This is so much fun, you know, and once you decide your startup costs, you get to go shopping, and if you're like me, love shopping for, not necessarily for clothes and stuff, but love shopping for startup items or product items for my business. It's so much fun, okay? Sometimes we get a little crazy, but that's okay. Okay, so startup costs is basically just, like I said, your capital cost to use for all the items required to initially set up and launch your business, okay? And, and that's kind of what it is. And within this, you need to have, again, budget, so you don't go over budget, okay? Research must be done because you, you know, if there's like, for me, if there's four or five product suppliers for my business, they all relatively, like if they're professional products, have the same products, so I would have to go and research, you know, which one has the best bang for my buck, and then I would go spend my money there, right? Because it's really easy when you need, like, a few hundred different things. In my case, I, I spent, like, uh, like almost seven or eight thousand dollars, I think, just on professional products and retail products to match, and you know, towels and little slippers and flip flops for people for their pedicures, so they, you know, their nails can dry and stuff like that. So it was a lot of money, right? So and, and that was just startup cost, you know, equipment and you know, things to store my towels. This was way before COVID. <laughs> now we're not allowed to have anything in our rooms. That's um, that's a fabric. So it's, it's a lot. So budgets and research is so important and you need to make sure as well that you have enough items that you're not going to run out. You know, you, you don't want to run out like after a month, you want to make sure you have enough items for at least three months. And if you know, you're going to be busy, maybe six, but I think that's a little too much. Three is good. So make sure you have everything you need for your business to function. Okay. So um, if you're just jumping in, let me know uh, where in the world you're from. We're talking about business plan fundamentals. And now we are moving on to marketing. We just did startup costs, uh, financial aspects, business plan basics, like structure. And now I'm going to move on to marketing. And marketing, like I said, is like probably one of the most overlooked sections, okay, uh, of the plan. And, and usually that's because people are confused. They're not sure what marketing means. They're big into advertising, which is good as well. But I just want to say that advertising is a part of your marketing plan, not really separate. I like to talk about it as a separate thing. But really, advertising is a component of marketing. Okay, it's part of the marketing plan. Marketing plan is the whole thing. Okay, so it's simply the action of promoting your new business to the public. It's how you'll promote your business, how you'll portray your brand and how you want people to perceive you, which is pretty much what marketing is. Okay, in a nutshell, a tiny nutshell, that's what it is. <laughs> uh, okay, so 
Um, like I said, uh, you want to be able to attract the customers and not only that, but you have to attract the right customers, you know, branding is a big part of that as well, who you're speaking to, you know, who you want to buy your stuff and come into your business and part of marketing as well. That is so important is uh, market research on your competitors, which is where you uh, see what's working for your competitors who kind of have the same uh, business that you want uh, to launch and you kind of take a look at what they're doing, how busy they are, how people, oh, hi, hi, Angel. <laughs> uh, awesome. And awesome. Sorry, I got a little distracted there. Um, and uh, yeah, so you're going to research uh, your, sorry, losing my train of thought here. I hate when that happens, don't you? Yeah, so you just want to see essentially what's working for them. So you can do that by going in to visit or booking an appointment, talking with people, which is, you know, kind of like a secret spy, which is always fun, looking at their brochures, their website, their online strategies, and just kind of seeing you can take inspiration from that. So you're like, wow, they're really busy. And yeah, maybe my business idea will work out as well. So it's kind of the start and determine what they're doing. Okay, so next I'd like to touch a little bit on the ad plan, like I said, is within your marketing plan. And it's also very important because it, it is a specific marketing tactic that allows you to communicate with your potential clients. Okay, so that means the different methods you're gonna use to display your messages. So like for my little massage business I had in my home, um, I had these like black mobile signs, you know, the ones like you'd see at No Frills or Walmart and they have this black sign and it says oranges or, you know, 50 cents off a pound or something like that, right? And I used to have one of those and it would display, you know, $75 for a new client, like years ago, $75 for new uh, customers booked by this date and here's the phone number. So that is a method that I used to build my home business, which was the most successful method I had. I mean, I didn't really do any social media at that time. You know, I didn't, I, it was my home. I, I just wanted people that were local. I didn't want, I don't know, random, even though there's random people coming to my house anyways. Um, I, I just did like traditional advertising. It worked really well. And that's how I promoted my products and services. So your method might be different. You might be doing social media advertising, you know, advertising online. Uh, for me, it was, um, uh, I did a radio ad too, which was was really fun, <laughs> really fun, really cool to do. I've never done that before. I might even never do it again, but it, it was really fun. So that was another method that I used. So you have to find the right method for you. There's literally hundreds of ways you can advertise your business, okay? Now let's continue on just a little bit more with the ad plan. Um, you know, why do you need the advertising plan? You know, I know it's just like a staple, you know, people often open a, a business without uh they'll open a business without a business plan some people but the one thing they do have is an ad plan you know and um but sometimes the ad plan isn't like fully formed which you know i help people with and it it needs to be kind of fully formed with strategies and deadlines and trying to figure out what methods you're going to use what you're going to say and kind of integrate it with the marketing and it kind of all works together as a whole but really the ad plan is so important because people need to see you and a lot of people are really uncomfortable putting themselves out there with i which i totally understand I, like it's it's hard to <clears throat> excuse me show your face and you know meet new people and talk about your business. If it's new, you might not be confident or you might not feel like, you know, it's valuable. Even though you know your service or product is valuable, you might not feel it because you haven't gotten the right validation. It can be very stressful. It can be off-putting. It's uncomfortable. It's challenging. And I completely get that. I've been an entrepreneur for over 12 years and I've had many, many jobs. I used to have a mobile business. I've had the business in my house. I've built businesses up from scratch under the umbrella of another business, you know, where I leased a space and it, it can be quite uh, nerve wracking to put yourself out there. And I totally get it. Hello, Margarita. Hi, Jen. I meant to say hi to you earlier, but I got, I got distracted. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was distracted by my stuff. Yep. So, um, you know, so it's really important to have people see you and kind of move past that. I know there's a lot of fears, uh, 
people have a lot of fears around opening a business and I, I do like to help people with that as well because it, it takes a certain mindset and a certain kind of drive and passion to just push through it and do it until it becomes fun, even if it's scary. So I just wanted to say that you need to be able, and why do we need to push past this? So let me just touch on this here. It kind of leads into what I want to say. You know, let's say you have a sandwich shop, okay? And you have the best sandwiches in the world, right? It's amazing, you know, and and everybody would love your sandwiches. And you know this because all your friends and family love your sandwich. And it just, everybody in your life raves about it, right? So um, it, you could have this sandwich shop and you could open it and get your business plan ready to go and have everything thorough and specific and you know, have your big sign up on your shop and, you know, you have everything in place. You even have the strategies and the methods and you're ready to go, but you don't implement any of them. You're scared to show your face, right? And you don't actually follow your plan. And what happens? So what happens when you do this, right? Some people do do this and it's, I like to help those people because it's a shame because the world could really benefit from what it is that they're offering. It, there's so much value in what these people have to offer. Okay, so if you don't get your face out there and get your name out there and get talking to people, meeting with people and, and you know just interacting with people, nobody will ever buy a sandwich. Nobody will see your shop. They won't even know you're there, you know, and you just won't you're just not going to, <laughs> thanks Jen, you're just not going to, um, it's just not going to work, you know, and I, it's those people I like to work with because I, I love to see people succeed in their business. And it, for me, it's just, it, it's so fulfilling and I just love it. Now, would you tell, type in the chat, those who are watching, um, and if you're just jumping in, tell me where you're coming in from, okay? Who needs help with their marketing or advertising plan? Who feels a little uncomfortable? If if you're, um, you don't want to say it in the, the group chat, feel free to like private message me, uh, okay, afterwards or during or whatever, okay? Now, the last thing I want to go over, and I'm going to go over this one really quickly, okay, is to finalize your business plan. Once you get everything done, finalize it. And that means recalculating everything, double checking it, making sure it's within your comfort zone, all the method, that methods you've picked, the branding, but still pushes you a little bit outside of your comfort zone, okay? If you push too far, you probably won't do any of it and you'll end up like the sandwich shop owner, okay? So you don't wanna do that, okay? So just a little push is good. So once you review it and you perform all the calculations again, you need to perform a SWOT analysis. You don't have to do it, but I highly recommend it. This will improve your business idea before you even launch. You can do it after you launch, but before is better. And this is where you determine your strengths, your weaknesses, your opportunities, and your threats and uh, between your business and your competitors, okay? And even upcoming advances in technology and the world and everything like that. One other thing I wanna touch on as well, which is a big question mark for a lot of people is funding. A lot of people need uh, funding, okay? And they don't know how to get it, okay? Well, I'll tell you, the number one thing you need for funding is a business plan. You need the financials, the projections, your liabilities, your assets. You need all that stuff. The investors or the bank, whoever's loaning you money, aside from friends or family, is going to want a business plan with all of that included, okay? You'll probably have also have to have copies of your statements, your bank statements, your assets and stuff like that, okay? So funding options. You need the plan. And a lot of people, they don't know how to access it, the requirements. I just gave you a couple, so Mark mo like no, note those down. Okay. No, write those down. <laughs> I can't speak anymore. Okay. And, uh, and who to ask. Okay. So these are a few things a lot of people struggle with and I help people with that as well. Okay. Okay. So, um, before we, I finish up here, I just, I just want to show you something if that's all right with you guys, I would love to help anyone who is interested, um, talk, I would love to talk with you more about um, creating your business plan, where you are in the process and how I can help you. Um, I invite you to please reach out to me on uh, Facebook. You can private message me. You can you know, ask questions in the comments. I'll post the replay after as well if you need to rewatch it. And uh, you can join my Facebook group as well if you like. Um, I'm always answering questions and I just like to support and help you. And in honor of that, I have created something for you. I'm going to be hosting a, a free 
master class. It's a half day master class. It's four hours long, which is a little long, but I promise you there'll be a little break in the middle so you can stand up and stretch. Okay. And uh, it's going to be next weekend, Saturday, November uh, 13th, between 12 and four my time, which is EST. Okay. And during that half day masterclass, completely free. Okay. No obligation to do anything. I just want to help people who need it. Okay. It's for aspiring and new business owners. Um, and if that's you, you're more than welcome to join. And even if it's not you, you're also more than welcome to join. And I'm going to give you the specifics of everything we just talked about and more on how to write your strategic, uh, thorough business plan that will, um, have clients begging to book with you from the first day you open. Okay. Now I'll just give you a touch of, um, what we're going to, uh, what I'm going to go over. Okay. So, um, I'm going to be helping you in this class, uh, choose an idea, uh, for your business because a lot of people don't have their idea narrowed down. So we'll start from step one, ensure your idea is profitable, create that detailed plan to help you launch successfully. And within that we'll be reviewing uh, business plan necessities, including financial projections, startup costs, marketing, advertising plan, the legalities, which is a big thing for people and um, a growth plan for your business so that it grows in the time frame you want it and how you want it to grow. Like the, you're going to meet the targets uh, that you want for your business in the time frame that you want it. Okay. Uh, you're also going to learn, we're going to go over how to overcome fear as a new business owner, which is a huge thing so that you can grow your confidence. Okay. And within those two things to get there, going to help you acquire a, the business entrepreneur's mindset, which is so different from an employee's mindset and so um, fundamental and, and crucial to your success um, going forward, especially if you're transitioning from like working under someone else to your own business. It's so, so important. Um, I'm also going to have a bonus lesson, which I'm going to leave as a surprise for you guys, for those people who stay to the end of the class. Okay. And I'm going to do a live Q and a session at the end where you have op or where you have a chance to ask me some questions and I can help provide you with a little bit of free advice and free coaching if you want. Okay. And, um, you know, so if you're interested in the masterclass, I would love to have you join me. Okay. And like I said, it's on, uh, Saturday, November 13th. At, from 12 to 4 p.m. EST, which is next Saturday, not this one coming, but the next one. And if you're interested, please comment masterclass uh, to get the link and I will private message you the link so that you can sign up. Okay. Because I would love to see you there. Okay. So again, if you're interested in that comment, masterclass and I will send you the link uh, in a little bit. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, those who have joined me. I promise I will post the ma uh, the replay for this class later on this afternoon once I get it fixed and sent, sent up onto Facebook. Okay. Awesome, Jen. I see you there. I'll send uh, the link to you in a bit. Okay. And um, I hope to see you guys. I have another class coming up. It's um, next week sometime. I can't remember the date, uh, but it's in my book somewhere, but it's on uh, marketing tips. I'll be doing a class next week on three tips for marketing. Okay. So I hope to see you there. Thank you guys so much. You've been fantastic. Okay. And I'll see you guys in the masterclass. Bye.